we're talking about Rome. The city who once ruled it all where landmarks like the Colosseum loom large and also the city who thought it was a good idea to add urine to toothpaste and create bleach blonde hair with pigeon poop? Yep, Rome. It's the perfect place to visit with your family. Join us as we give you three of our favorite places to visit and one place everyone loves, but we didn't. We are a family of five from the United States. We had the opportunity to go on a six month adventure exploring the beautiful sights and cities across Europe. Here are some things we learned along the way. Now for the three places you absolutely cannot miss. Number one on our list is the Colosseum. An absolute must see, the Colosseum is an iconic landmark. Our kids loved learning about gladiators in ancient Rome throughout our visit. The views inside the Colosseum as well as the inner workings of the underground tunnels are fascinating. As you walk along the top layer, you will also be able to view ancient Roman artifacts and learn interesting information about the rise and fall of Rome and the Colosseum. You will need to purchase tickets to enter this site. Each ticket is timed, so if you have a tight schedule, you may want to purchase your tickets well in advance. Second on our list is the Pantheon and the Piazza Navona. At nearly 2,000 years old, the Pantheon is an architectural marvel. Looking like it belongs in Ripley's Believe It or Not or a Marvel movie, the wonder of the Pantheon cannot be overstated. With restaurants surrounding this landmark, you can enjoy a bite to eat and allow your kids to play while viewing one of the most incredible structures I have ever seen. The Piazza Navona is just a short walk from the Pantheon, one of the most famous piazzas in all of Rome. Here you can find local treats, beautiful fountains, and even a carousel. We were lucky enough to visit at night and with perfectly placed lights and treats galore, it felt like the most magical evening in the most magical city. One of the things that makes Rome particularly family friendly is that it's very walkable. You can see so much just by strolling around the city and there are plenty of parks and piazzas where kids can run and play. Many amazing and famous sights can be seen simply by walking from one to another. And with that, we walk on over to our final favorite for today, the Trevi Fountain. This landmark boasts a full crowd round the clock and is one of the most unique sights in all of Rome. With an absolute dominant presence, this structure not only represents one of the oldest sources of water in Rome, but also one of the most impressive fountains in the world. Many throw their spare change in the fountains hoping for a return to Rome, romance, and even a Roman wedding. And with all the wishes and hopes released, nearly 3,000 euros are collected from the fountain each day and given to local charities. But one word to the wise, make sure to keep your feet firmly planted on dry land or your leisurely cool down could cost you a whopping 450 euros. And don't forget about the food. Oh, amazing food. Whether you eat gluten-free or you prefer to eat all the gluten, there are countless options and you will most certainly find the pizza, pasta, and gelato you've been dreaming of. Now for the place everyone told us to visit, the Vatican. An actual city-state inside Rome, this was our biggest letdown of the trip. With a labyrinth full of artifacts from the ancient church and cultures all around the world, jaw-dropping art collections, and of course, Michelangelo's famous work in the Sistine Chapel, there really is an overwhelming amount to see and learn here. Unfortunately, we spent most of our time 
lost. So we had walked in a circle for about an hour and we've uh, ended up right back where we started um, here in the back and we cannot find the Sistine Chapel. I don't know. We found it difficult to navigate the museum and the sheer volume of things to see proved overwhelming for our family with kids 10, 8, and 5. But don't let our experience deter you. If you are set on visiting the Vatican, I would highly recommend hiring a guide to ensure that your visit is more successful than ours. To wrap it all up, Rome is a fantastic destination for families with endless amounts of history, culture, and delicious food to explore. And if you plan ahead and choose your activities wisely, you can have a great time with your kids in this beautiful city. Thanks for watching. If you have any other tips or suggestions for visiting Rome with kids, please leave them in the comments below.